guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our YouTube account and it is a sad day for AFK Arena, guys. Unfortunately, at this point, our boy Eyes Old, you can see we took off his gear, we took off his artifact. Um, having him built, I have him nine to nine, I have them at the plus 30 signature item. Only thing that he was utilized for at this point was the Grotesque Mage, but just like the Winds of Change, metas do change as well. Um, so he is no longer in the meta, so he has been dropped out. For a lot of the lower tiers within the Twisted Realm, um, he'll probably still be utilized, I, I would assume, until you have, of course, the replacement hero of all time, Scarlet, being built, guys. We've been maxing out the tier four. We've been really pushing um, the amount of damage that she's doing, and it is because of the Twisted Realm. And again, the, the meta within here has changed, guys. So I'm gonna run through the heroes. Of course, Scarlet is the primary damage dealer here, followed by, you guessed it, Grez. Two very easy heroes to build, um, are used for a ton within AFK Arena, even Scarlet within Light Bear Tower. Then of course, the twins, guys. Big primary reason why we say focus on building the twins. They do absolutely phenomenal. There's not another hero in AFK Arena that does exactly what they do. Now, interesting enough, guys, Scarlet seems to have rebirth kind of Baden, which I think is the reason why we have the skin for Baden coming. Um, Baden has actually been run in a couple of the Twisted Realm comms. A lot of players have also said that if you build him up to that 9 of 9, um, he does fairly well within a couple different places, including the Graveborn Tower. Then, of course, the, the Resurgence or, or the build of Hodgkin. Now, I don't have him at the 9 of 9 furniture. I believe this 9 of 9 is going to be very important because of the damage reduction factor that he's going to do as a tank. You can also see we are running the Barricade on him. So I'm going to run through and kind of break down what this formation looks like based on what we're seeing within the Twisted Realm. Looking at the leaderboard, guys, here is Nano. Um, it is Scarlet and Graz, that's right, <clears throat> twins. And then we actually have Warwick in this team comp to go ahead and do the reduction. Um, instead of Baden, I, I've seen it kind of both. Warwick might be the way to go. Um, actually, again, I, I've seen some players were running Baden when I checked this out a little bit earlier. But let me make sure that Warwick is kind of built up. Again, these heroes, guys, I do have to build up a little bit higher. So the traditional formation in here is run just like this. So you'll actually see this was the formation that we're utilizing as of last week. And guys, here is the new formation that we're utilizing as of today. So it did drop out, of course. It dropped out um, Izold. So unfortunately, he is not going to be used. Now within this formation, there is a very particular way to run this formation to maximize the damage. So when you actually play it here, I slow it down because you'll see how they alt and when they alt. And I really want you to take note of this because remember, you only have five alts. On the six alt, he will actually leave. So you'll see Scarlet and the twins actually alt first, which right here, it's at 110 because another mage comes up. You actually see the second grotesque mage come up. So at 110, the ultimate ability goes off. There is the raining fire on there. Then the rest of the energy sits here. Boom, until one. So 10 seconds later, guys, and the mage comes up. This is very important. The second mage does an incredible amount of damage, which is the reason why we need Scarlet to actually burn this mage down very fast. And then boom, 50 seconds, alt everybody. And then it is just a race for the damage, guys. Look at the damage just absolutely devastating the amount of damage that um, is put up in a very short time. So again, guys, 110, we're gonna go ahead and battle this. I'm gonna turn off the speed. Oh, I actually ran the old formation. This is the old formation. So we made a mistake here, but old formation, you'd run it down to about 18 seconds, um, 18 to 22 seconds, and you'd actually alt everybody at that point. And then you can alt a second time within six seconds. And Honestly, we can do this and see where exactly it's going to build. So usually about 18 seconds you could alt. And I know it does make a big difference where you have these heroes built. So this was the old eyes old formation comp. And then they alt again, usually about six seconds. Right about there, you can alt one more single time. And of course, the grotesque mage is going to take off through the portal. 46 putting us in 2849. Big reason for this, guys, is of course we want to push this because we want the Twisted Essence. We want to get more tree juice out of there. So let's check out the new formation. There we go. So we're going to slow this one down. Again, I'm going to turn this off. We want auto off because we're going to alt Scarlet and then the Twins at 110. So we're going to let them build up. 
And here we go. We got a couple more seconds here. So at 110, we're going to do Scarlet, then the Twins. Boom. Scarlet Twins. Then at 1, we're going to do the same. It is going to be Scarlet Twins on there. One minute. Scarlet Twins. And then at 50 seconds, we're going to alt everybody. And you can already see the damage is already... Um, Eclipse where we're at. So depending on where you have the heroes built out, and this is where I think it's going to make a difference. 1368 is where it's going to make a difference. Um, <clears throat> one, the RNG, <clears throat> the RNG that Scarlet brings within there, but also having some of the damage reduction from Hodgkin out there is the other area that I think we're really lacking on here. Like I was saying, one of the other big areas that we're lacking in here is um, the damage reduction with that 9 of 9 furniture that Hodgkin brings. Um, also having Warwick built out a little bit more just for the survivability. But we can run this a couple times, guys. Again, it's only a few seconds in um, that we do the ultimate abilities. And Scarlet with the bolts, guys, is very, very heavy RNG. So again, at 110, we'll go ahead and we will pop both of these heroes. Boom. And then at uh, one minute, we will do the same. And it looks like most of the bolts went right into the mage. But remember, we don't have this, the big damage mitigation that Hodgkin brings. One and two. And then if we can survive to that 50 second mark, guys. Because you can see that the second mage actually comes up a little bit quicker, which there are big difference in the damage. We're going to have to play around a little bit with the timer. Again, the optimal team right here, guys. Of course, having this max out makes a big difference. I mean, the twins, of course, having the max out engraving, um, even looking down here at Hodgkin, having a tier three stones, having the max, max out signature item, the plus 60 engraving plus the nine of nine furniture makes a really big difference. So we're going to play around with this team comp, see exactly where I can end my damage at. But guys, 1369, it, it, it actually adds an incredible amount of, of Twisted Essence Juice that you're getting out of here and Poke Coins as well. This is the reason why we really do push the Twisted Realm, guys. We want to try to maximize the damage we're doing here. Same exact thing with the Cursed Realm. We're at the top 16 right here. We want to push this a little bit higher so we can pick up not only Stargazer cards, but also these Time Emblems. We got a lot of them last time. Big thing here within these formations, even looking at the leaderboard, is I am missing Frampton. So I, I actually do not have Frampton. Frampton is run within this formation. Guys, and look at all of these just max out engraving. It's kind of crazy. I know I'm not going to be number one, even probably in the top 10% because the amount of players that spend an insane amount of money within AFK Arena. But as long as I can make the top 20, as long as I'm picking up a couple of those Stargazer cards, it, it keeps it pretty competitive in here. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. So the meta has changed again in the Twisted Realm. Um, all the more reason to build Scarlet out here to make sure that you're remaining competitive. A lot of players also asked, um, is it really worth building out the tree? So for a majority of the top players, the, the top players have all of these specs actually maxed out. Um, I built this one out because not only do we have Scarlet we use in here, um, we also use Aziz in here, we use Mahira and we use Kazard in here, we use Oden in here, we use Izold in here, we use um, even Leonardo da Vinci. You know, th there is an incredible amount of sorcery heroes that we have begun to utilize within not only the campaign progression but the towers. Um, keeping it close, of course, celerity with the ranger tree and then substance with our support tree. We've kind of went back and forth onto where we want to build them, making sure, again, this one is maxed out the most just because I do want to maximize the damage that we do within that twisted realm and also that cursed realm to build this tree out faster. So it kind of goes hand in hand. When we're putting out more, more damage, we're getting more tree juice, more tree juice, allows us to build out the Elder Tree even more. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.